Okay, I'm a doctor in prehistory from autonomous oops, sorry from autonomous University of Barcelona, and I mainly work in Neolithic, <laughs> mainly Near East, uh, Syria, and Iraq usually. But uh, I, I am from Vic. <laughs> I was born there, and uh, sometimes what we have in front of our eyes is the the worst uh, uh, situation uh, ever imagined. Uh, what happens when we have uh, in the middle of a city an ancient Kennedy complex? It was uh, built on the 18th century, but uh, oops, sorry, but previously recorded since medieval ages. In fact, uh, from is this one? No. Okay, from the 18th century, the, this small part close to the river, from between the the main. Uh, city wall uh, is a kind of uh, neighborhood, uh, quarter a little bit uh, abandoned, but uh, present in each in each uh, part of the daily life because the main bridge, the ancient bridge since Roman times goes the direction is the main entrance to the city. It's a medium-sized city, close to the, uh, close to the Pyrenees. And in the city with a rich heritage, uh, mainly medieval and, and Gothic times. What happens? Close to the river. It's close to the river, as I just explained you. Some buildings were built and rebuilt during the 18th century, some of them uh, still in use in the 60s, or were ancient. The tenor is uh, using the ancient. Um, uh, ancient objects and ancient techniques, and uh, the other ones, some of them uh, became uh, houses, some of them uh, completely abandoned. Uh, the recovered data in uh, local uh, small towns, I mean, uh, not only in, uh, in uh, Spain, everywhere. It's just some few uh, articles, uh, local journals, notes, that let us to recover uh, from the information related to the river in the uh, mid-19th century and some archives uh, or, or uh, local activities. The framework uh, was uh, Developed by the local government because he's, he must take care, so he's a, a heritage a well known for everyone. And uh, the main uh, aspects to develop from them was work mainly for the mm -hmm. like valorization installation, uh, historical and archaeological evaluation, and the existence of co trying to contextual contextualize the, the data. No? There are many, many uh, evi archaeological evidences. And when they decided to protect, legally protect this area, they decided uh, to establish this, this perimetral area related to the actual ancient buildings, but with a um, Cartesian model without understanding how real was the, the ancient, ancient landscape, even uh, the anthropological one. What they protect? In fact, uh, there is not clear because it's, it's only a legal protection and there is no any intervention developed uh, actually on, on, on there. In fact, this is alluvial and colonial deposits. It means that's when the river goes up, uh, everything uh, becomes uh, mud. This is just a, a picture of the, um, the geographical area. Uh, Atenidis works as a complex building because we have in uh, the under, under cellar, the basement, a complex uh, architectural um, uh, elements related to water captation and water uh, coming back to the to the um, some kind of pits to preserve this, this water and a complex water management. But in an um, urbanistic uh, point of view, there is not possible even to, to use all these uh, underground uh, 
areas all of the building of these buildings lose the lose this part as a useful uh, urbanistic uh, point of view. Ground floor becomes more useful and more beautiful, some of them. And uh, they have been now uh, treated as a kind of, uh, to say, uh, shops or that they expect to have been, uh, that, that it becomes uh, restaurants or I don't know. I don't know what exactly the, the government expects to, to convert this, but always under the owner promotion. It's the owner who has to, to pay. Uh, the course is the same, but they are very interesting because we're, we're collectivized during the Spanish Civil War. We're all of them connected from one, one corner to the other. And second floor have a... a oh, well, okay. Second floor the entire genre and uh, they come to the upper part uh, focused of the uh, skin of the animals. The main uh, historical archaeological works developed focused on uh, planimetric uh, reconstruction, uh, some uh, drawings related to urbanist uh, transformations and a kind of archaeological uh, charismatic <laughs> interpretation. No more, it's what we have until now. But this space uh, transformation is absolutely complex because of, uh, I told you before, we have remained since a uh, Roman uh, period, there is extra uh, uh, villae. Uh, actually, the, this part was digged in the, 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 the night is disappeared, now it's a garage, but the uh, part of the villa goes to a uh, direction to the river. Also, uh, an ancient, uh, the main street uh, in Roman times was, was uh, identified and digged in uh, the beginning of the 21st century a kind of a bridge, and also a valoir from 17th century. I mean, there a lot of things. Now, nowadays, only this one is possible to, to be seen. It's the only one um, visible. The other, the rest is uh, uh, lost. There is a, a small uh, administrative uh, rapport, <laughs> archaeological rapport, and that's, that's all. It's not necessary. And I saw some um, important historiographic elements that this, this lapida belonging to the, to the tribu gal in the Galeria also has been, uh, but in this case it's the Indonesian. Uh, in some of the um, buildings have also uh, several elements belonging to the square transformation. One of them is a part of an arch who belongs to the, the bridge, but who is under the, is in fact, is here, under this, the first, um, the first building. This one was, uh, okay. And another one is a complex from the 15th century, and also part of the Roman uh, strata that we found there. But this, this, it's still there, but it will be soon <laughs> bigger and um, destroyed, <laughs> if you can say that, this. And this one uh, is a little bit best preserved because it's five meters down the actual level. But if they need to build a, uh, a garage, it will be <laughs> disappeared for, for sure. I mean, uh, there are some, some elements uh, related to the Tenerys. The main ones are the, the channel and, and ditch, and another uh, are the um, buildings related to uh, mm -hmm. Oi, okay. There is also another element who has been literate to be here in this part. This is the bridge, and this is the area. And maybe here is the best way to understand how works the city. It's a medieval city with a Roman temple. I mean, the first occupation is a, a small Roman municipia, then um, a medieval city. 
And in modern times, they built another, as you can see, big wall called Clausura no Moro. This was also present in, in this part, and it was also almost uh, destroyed. Uh, going further, just to introduce a little bit the uh, urban drama, no? how, how the, this proto-industrial area was uh, included in the, um, in the actual city, but it's included, but also uh, invisible. Okay, where it is? Sorry, this part, just to show we are here, in all this, uh, in all this area. This is the main uh, strata from Barcelona to the Pyrenees. And we are placed here, as I showed you before. Uh, in this uh, maps from the uh, mid-19th uh, century, we have, um, it's not clear here, we have the round towers who belong to the uh, modern uh, wall. There is also a kind of um, industrial area and a, a main door. Just what we can understand from here. This, uh, this space has been uh, modified now in just some time, and just to see how, in few uh, slides, you can see the growth of a city. No, and how, peop uh, how people forget the urban space and our own uh, landscape. No, the social, the social, social landscape. I mean, we used to walk in the same way. You know, Sometimes we change, but uh, we have a 3D model of our city, and when uh, something something change, uh, a lot of people doesn't care because it starts a new one and it was forever. The problem was um, the the water, the management of water flows that meant a lot. The most buildings were destroyed and rebuilt and. Have a, have a lot of disease, it was really uh, damaged in that sense, and no one take um, a restoration, even a uh, historical uh, conception, it was this one that the Tenerife area, and some pictures of the same. In fact, these uh, images belong to the Civil War, just at the end of the Spanish Civil War, because uh, you, you can see the bridge was <laughs> almost destroyed, and some of the Tenerys were here at the end. They are also, and then on the 40s, it yeah, was rebuilt because of uh, it's not a natural pass. The external activities, maybe more anthropological and geographical point of view, take out uh, close, to the, close to the river in the outer area. But as we can, I don't know if you remember, nowadays, the, the altitude, the, the level is from here then, I mean from here, then there are three meters, it was two, three, four meters down the, the, actual, the actual level. And no one uh, have any, in spite of this uh, picture, then it about how it, it works and which kind of remains we can, we can find. Then this is also the pictures. And this is more uh, recent in the 80s because our own this area uh, was developed as a. Um, they try to, to establish the, um, the industrial value more in uh, textiles or, or modern activities. But uh, the use, the main use, was like a garage. It was the main garage, the free garage to go to the city center. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, you don't have to pay nothing, but when you walk around, you can see this one of the best, was one of the best preserved tenneries. It's Kamakana today, as you can see, is a stone basement, and then with pise, mud brick, I mean, earthen architecture, and then all the wooden uh, structure. And it's, if it's not uh, completely <laughs> destroyed, it, the architect the, um, of the city said that it's not possible to restore. It's not possible to restore a building like this. No, the criteria, no? Coming back to the <laughs> who established the criteria, it's a, uh, economic uh, aspects are always uh, a good uh, 
element just to discuss. No, 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 we don't have money. <laughs> it's easy, you know? Or now we cannot find, uh, find money. But you know, the next um, snow, or next uh, raining day, uh, it will fall down and then it's too late. <laughs> it disappears, just too late. This is only one, but there are more than 30, 30, uh, 24 elements like this. But the others are close one, one to the other. In that sense, I came back to the previous um, uh, talk because it's also a contaminated area. I mean, uh, chrome, uh, uh, metals, the kind of metals related to lead and colorants was there from centuries. I mean, uh, they are still there. And uh, the float area is also very, very difficult to, they don't like them to build. The economic crisis is like we said before, just okay, we are going in an economic crisis. And people don't like to work there because it smells quite bad, you know, a lot of humidity, and it's a degraded uh, area, no? With a little bit rubbish, a lot of cats, everything. It's just so, I mean, uh, people forget, forget the, this element which is in the middle of the city. In the middle. And no one, apparently, no one takes care. They forget uh, two, three uh, streets in a, in a, a well-placed uh, place. Uh, and, and I presume that there are only three main explanations. One of them is uh, from the promoters who I think that all fall down and they build them a big beautiful uh, apartments or restaurant, I don't know what, <laughs> because the, the economic crisis is still there. I cannot imagine what. The others who expect uh, a miracle, <laughs> you know, they expect, and uh, govern the official government to say, okay, we cannot, or they don't know how to start, which element will let to develop a realistic program in a situation like that. Thanks so much. Sorry. <laughs>